Hey, it's Amelia Lee here at the last concert for the Tumbleweed Jumpers at Goshen Brewing Company. I'm here with Scott. He's a man of many talents with the Tumbleweed Jumpers. Scott, how are you doing today? Doing great. This is amazing. I uh, couldn't ask for anything more than this. For sure. And it's, it's your last show. So how are you feeling tonight about it being your last show with the Tumbleweed Jumpers? It's definitely bittersweet. Uh, we've been doing this for a decade over uh, with the same group of people like 11 years now. And it's just been like one of those things that's been constant and been a passion of mine. But at the same time, it's like seasons of life, the things you know, things change and like, we absolutely love each other. We're all gonna continue to play music together. Um, but this is like kind of a, a final note in a, in a good way. Yeah, for sure. And then what are your plans for the future? You know, this is your last time with the Tumbleweed Jumpers. So what are your plans? Uh, I play in two other bands. I play in Jigalchi, which is a post-rock band. Uh, we just played here last week, actually. Um, and we're gonna play a bunch of shows around. We're recording a full length at the end of October. Uh, and then I also played a band called Dad Jokes, which is like a fun-loving ska band from South Bend who plays a show a year for funsies. And then um, a few of us played other uh, bands. We have San Sanchez Agency, uh, our drummers in that, and a few other people uh, in our band playing other bands. Uh, a few of our members are gonna go forward in an unnamed secret uh, brass band, like New Orleans style funky kind of stuff. So uh, look for that in the next six to eight months. Yeah, for sure. And it's obviously a very bittersweet time for you guys, you know, the end of an era and everything. So what was your favorite moment, your favorite memory being a part of the Tumbleweed Jumpers? I'd have to say, I think like, it, it would be stupid not to say it was the symphony. Like, uh, we started being like, we're gonna try and play Constant Spring. That was our like goal. And like, that happened in six months and we never knew what our written goal was. And then suddenly we got to play with like, an actual symphony orchestra like orchestrated our songs and it was just like okay that's what we were meant to do and that was part of it like that's how can we get any cooler <laughs> than that so it was a good a good memory a good like final stamp on everything so yeah it was it, it, that was definitely my favorite and what are you most looking forward to in your future as a musician um to experiment more with things like uh in Jigalchi I played through like a few different guitar pedals and just like really getting into that realm which I've never really done and then like my roots as a jazz musician and, and a horn player, like going with that uh, with our brass band and just like really exploring different avenues. Like that's one thing that we thought about as we moved on was like, this is amazing. We've done this. Maybe we can explore some other things we haven't gotten to yet. So you will continue to play music in the future? Oh yeah, we'll, we'll be around. I think nearly all of us will be around, so for sure. Yeah, and then do you have any plans to reunite ever in the future as of right now? Uh, you know, there was like a, what if a reunion show thing happens and uh, we, you know what? Who knows, we're all in Goshen, could happen. At this point, we're like done with shows and you know, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Sure. Well, thank you so much, Scott, it was thank great, so appreciate it. This is amazing, thank you guys.